Good evening. We're going to call tonight's meeting of the City Commission to order. Will you please join me in the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Tonight, do we have any... One here who would like to speak on any matter under public input. All right, seeing none, we'll go ahead and move on to the consent agenda. Are there any items to be removed? Item E. Item E as an Edward? Yes. Okay, any other items? Do we have a motion, motion to approve? Motion to approve with the exception of item E. I'll okay. second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All, uh, I'm sorry, roll call vote. Gray? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ketterman? Aye. O'Brien? Aye. Munta? Aye. All right, item E, approval of staff recommendation for trans systems to develop preliminary concepts. Uh, is that, okay, go ahead. Uh, we had a request uh, for the uh, city to take a look at reversing the one-way streets of uh, Carlton and Williams Street there by PSU. This came at the, primarily the request of PSU. Uh, part of also what we'd be looking at on top of uh, changing the direction of the streets would also be inclusion of bike lanes and also restricting parking to one side on those streets as well. Uh, part of the challenges with that is uh, there at Carlton uh, that uh, if it were to be made one way westbound that uh, an additional uh, railroad crossing signal would be needed there and so part of what uh, uh, trans systems will be doing is looking at cost estimate for the overall project and recommendations how to proceed uh, should uh, the project decided to go forward and what, what was the request how come it couldn't be left like it is uh, some of the uh, flow for uh, PSU that they see as they're moving, changing some of their facilities around and also for their uh, bus traffic as well gave them uh, some efficiencies being able to flip those streets. Okay, that, that was my question. Uh, if there's any, no further questions, I move to approve item E. Second. All right, been moved and seconded. All votes in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion carries. All right, that takes care of all the items under the consent agenda. Move on to the following item, engineering services agreement, airport industrial park sewer. Staff is requesting governing body approval of the engineering services agreement between Earl's Engineering and an amount not to exceed $23,360, uh, in which Earl's Engineering will design and create the bid documents for a sewer extension to serve the airport industrial park. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, what we're looking at with this request is, uh, if you recall last meeting, uh, Apex uh, is looking at uh, purchasing uh, 20 plus acres in our industrial park out there at the airport. Uh, currently there is no public sewer there, there is public water in front of the property. So what this would do would be putting in a public sewer, uh, Apex would be responsible for the portion of cost it would be for them to construct uh, their own uh, sewer facility, but we want to upsize this and be able to uh, provide service further north to the 100 plus acres we have north of uh, that property as well as the airport expansion to the west side. And uh, I've got uh, Peter Earls is uh, here. Uh, he's an engineering firm. They just opened their office uh, here in town in the last couple of months. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, myself or Pete would be more than happy to answer them. And just to clarify, this is only for us to put together the bid documents and the things associated with the project. Right, this is just doing the design on it. Right. One of the challenges there is obviously when you're starting out, you're gonna have a very low flow coming into it, but as that area builds out, we wanna uh, uh, put the facilities in that we don't have to rebuild and reconstruct and right. also get it a depth that we'd be able to reasonably service as much as possible. So is that an area that we expect to see development in? Uh, yes, it is. We've had a different inquiries uh, through economic development uh, in the past, and uh, we believe it's also one of the ones where you get the first person in the door, suddenly it becomes a lot more viable. Folks can see themselves being there once the first uh, business is in there. 
Uh, seeing as this is going to be a significant amount of money uh, to develop, uh, we haven't had any uh, change of uh, Apex uh, uh, interest in purchasing the land since the last meeting. No, there's not been. And uh, the bonus to this is uh, regardless of if they move forward or not, this is only for the design. So uh, long term, uh, we're looking at needing to be able to service uh, this area with sewer. Any other questions or comments? All right, it's a motion to approve. I move to All approve. Right. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Up here. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Hey, Pete, can you stand in front of that? There's a microphone in front of the podium. I just wanted to introduce Pete. I used to work with him. He started, he opened an office in Pittsburgh a couple of months ago at the, uh, how would you describe that, KW Brock building? Correct. On the <laughs> second floor. Uh, KW Brock, we're there at that. Uh, you can see that, the uh, 105 West 7th Street. And uh, trying to get everything rolling and getting everybody uh, moving in and so on. We're a full range engineering firm. I've actually been in business for 25 years. Uh, started the company myself and have grown. We're now about 27 people in four offices now with uh, Pittsburgh. So we're here and hope we can help you out. Where are your other offices? We're in Salina, uh, Liberal, and down in Guyman, Oklahoma. Okay. How many will you be in Pittsburgh employees? Well, we'll, well, as soon as we get going, we'll have about three people starting here. And then as, we, uh, as work comes in, obviously, we'll continue to build the office. Yeah. Well, welcome. 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 Glad Thank, to you. Have you here. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you. Next item: disposition of bids. Bids were received on Tuesday, June thirteenth, twenty seventeen, for the Clink resurfacing project on K one twenty six from the KCS overpass to Freaking Highway. Staff will provide a verbal recommendation for award of the bid, and the award will be contingent upon K dot approval. Mayor and Commissioners, um, so this afternoon we took um, bids. Um, we're recommending award to Heckard Construction with a low bid of $375,596.32. Um, I don't want to say that. We'd, we'd like to go with the low guy. They've done, uh, they did the West Force Strength Project. We buy asphalt from them. Um, so we've got good numbers. Uh, came in much below our original estimate that we put together a couple years ago with uh, um, for the KDOT to submit for the clink. So good good problem. Probably a little lack of work in the state. Probably helped drive that down a little bit. So I feel good in the number. So good. Is that why you feel like there's a significant difference between Heckard's price and... Yeah, and the, there's, there's roughly about 20% between them and number two, but there's also 28 miles of hauling difference between the two as well. So Blevins has a plan out around Carthage, so it's about a 30-mile haul, and Heckard's right here has a four-mile haul, so that, that's probably a significant part of it. Okay. We also put an August 1st deadline trying to get it finished between, before school starts, so I'm sure that drove a little bit of it, too, of just the deadline requirements for it. So. Okay. We've, had, we, we've had a good uh, rapport with Heckard through the years. Yep. Okay. Further Thank questions, you. I'll move to approve. I'll second it. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All votes in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, against? Motion carries. Thank you. One Thank final you thing to add on that, Mayor, if you, if you will. The, uh, the way we set up our program is pay as you go. So when we have money put aside for this project and it comes in low like that, it gives Matt the opportunity to go back to a couple of streets that would be done next year and move them into this year. So. Um, I think with the street sales tax coming up in July 11th, it's important that people understand that, that it's a flexible program and uh, we spend everything we get on streets. So, And, and also just one additional point, um, maybe for you to help me clarify. The Clink program is one of the programs that is arguably subject to lack of funding going forward, which is another reason to, to drive and get out and vote. Uh, 
for the sales tax initiative later in July. Uh, that's part of the reason why we were putting that forward to the citizens was because some of these funds that are available now might not be available going forward. Yeah, it's a, it's a significant amount of money and it's always been something we've relied heavily on. So the thought of it not being there or having it reduced significantly will have an impact on the number of streets we can do. So sure. good point. Do you have something to... Well, I was going to uh, let the commissioners know uh, this is the last of the clink programs that you will see in their current format. Oh, well, there uh, you go. <laughs> actually, uh, they actually skipped a year of the clink, and then they rolled out a new program here just recently. So we skipped an entire state fiscal year without having a clink or any other program like it. So yes, uh, those dollars are highly flexible. So what, what is the new program going to be, Cameron? It's uh, called uh, CLIP, C-C-L-I-P, and it's supposed to take the place of the uh, uh, CLINK project as well as give an opportunity for a little more of a rebuild as part of that. Um, in modifying that format, uh, the city's contribution depends on its population. So now uh, a community, a small community might be able to put up as little as 5%, I think in some cases being population zero, and get up to three hundred thousand dollars so our competition for these dollars even if the pool were to be increased is going to be substantially greater so in long term i think that the odds of pittsburgh getting the same share that it did of the clink is probably uh, reduced thank you okay. thanks cameron any other discussion points on that clink item all right Move on to the next item, Mid-City Renaissance District Area-Wide Plan. Consider adopting the Mid-City Renaissance District Area-Wide Plan as prepared by Alon Consulting through a grant from the Environmental Protection Agency for the redevelopment of the area from 7th Street to Washington and Rouse to Joplin. Jay. Mayor and Commissioners, this is the plan that the Alon Group <coughs> presented to you at the last commission meeting. Uh, we were hoping to be able to get it, ask you to adopt it at that time, but there were still a few it's a, nothing substantive changed since then, but there were some references that were not quite right and, and a few other minor details. Priorities have been the same. The, the numbers, all of the salient details are the same. But, but we would like you to actually adopt the plan that is a, that is a rather significant part of the overall process. Since, since I've been in front of you with Elan, um, I've, been to talk, I've been to a couple different EPA sessions, right? And uh, they were all quite excited. I was surprised, really, about how excited they were that the community had, has completed their plan. And about uh, one thing I did find that a lot of people who received the grant the same year we did, um, almost half of them are not yet done with their plans, which, uh, which is, you know, I would assume that they were mostly done with their plans. But uh, so when we do, when we are on schedule and we've completed our plans and done our projects uh, according to the, the EPA's timeline, so they get kind of they get excited about it. In fact, they'll probably, the Region 7 folks, which is the region of the EPA that we're in, uh, we're going to put a press release out about it and things like that. So, um, but, uh, but they really like it when it's adopted by the, by the commission. So we're, we're, that's what we're asking you to do right now. Jay, let me ask you a question. Uh, because, this, because we adopt this plan, that does not mean that we have to adhere to it strictly as we move forward. We can change it, we can alter. You're absolutely right, you're absolutely right. The point of, of adopting it is to say that you recognize that, that the, the work that was, in, that was done in it, that the community was behind it. Uh, the plan is by no means uh, uh, set in stone. Um, it's very likely that they will look very different from the, the final version of it. We have to go into all the negotiations with the property owners, with the re with the developers. It it'll it'll change. But but the great part about the plan is it t it talks about the nature and character of the area of the district, and that will probably be held uh, held through to the uh, to the final development. And I think you might have answered this for me last time, but I think I've already forgotten. So if you could clarify, what's our next step? Once we, once we adopt this, can you kind of walk through the next couple of steps really quickly just to make sure that we understand where um, we go from there? Well, just, we, we still have to finalize the, uh, the assessment of, all of the area in depth to find, make sure that there all, there's no more, you know, what is the this environmental situations that we're facing there, hazardous, hazardous conditions, if there are any. And then we have to do a cleanup plan if there are any, right? Which is, that's, that's the next 
immediate step. But in the meantime, uh, we take this plan, which we have with, with community backing, and we can go to uh, other people who specialize in brownfield redevelopment and present them that plan. I'm already planning, um, there's already two conferences, na national conferences I'll be going to this year with that plan in hand to present to, to people who specialize in these things. So the idea here is that once the community is behind a, 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 an idea, that you can get people to support it and people engaged with it. Um, they, uh, there's a lot of good information in this plan, a lot of very specific uh, steps and priorities that they're asking, they're, they're having us do, and we're, we're going to follow them. Is the Mission Clay still involved in, in the we, we've, we've certainly kept them informed all along the way. They were, they were on the steering committee for, for, the, planning, for the planning steering committee. Um, so we think, we think they're still on board. We've, you know, we've had recent communications with them. Um, I think there's a good chance that, uh, that we can, uh, can get them to engage with us. I'm going to try to get them to come to those conferences with me so they can see what, what this is all about, uh, make sure they don't have any fear about it. So hopefully, we're, we're going to keep moving forward with it. Questions? Comments? Is your motion to approve? I so move. I'll second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. All votes in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion carries. Thanks, Jack. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Uh, not agenda reports and requests. I think we're good on the staff side. Wow. Okay. It's a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. All votes in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion carries. We are adjourned. <laughs>